In Thor, Ragnarok, we find Hulk a celebrated gladiator on the Grandmaster's planet Sakaar. We learn that the angry green guy has taken over and Banner hasn't been Banner for two whole years since he left in the Quinjet after the destruction of Sokovia in Avengers, Age of Ultron. When Banner finally does become a man again, soothed by seeing a video of Natasha Romanoff aka Black Widow, he fears that if he turns again he might never regain his humanity. Peril. Related Article 14 Hilarious Reasons Why the Hulk Hulk Head Out Advertisement Continue reading below Yet at the end of Ragnarok, Banner selflessly transforms back into Hulk to fight off Hela and her massive hounds who are intending to destroy Asgard and all of its citizens. A close of the movie, he's still in Hulk form as the survivors escape the now wrecked Asgard and head for Earth. Will he ever be able to regain human form? Well, yes, obviously, since we see him back to being Banner in the Infinity War trailer where he first appears shirtless surrounded by debris in the Sanctum Sanctorum from Doctor Strange, appearing disorientated like he's just gone through the transformation. He later pops up in Wakanda a couple of times looking far more together. We can't say we're surprised. Mark Ruffalo is a real fan favorite as Hulk, and there's no way Marvel would choose to hide his human face for the whole of the movie. So how did he change back? Was he softened by Black Widow? Conjured and transported by Doctor Strange? Has Tony developed some killer Stark tech to help him? We'll have to wait till April to find out, however there are a few more clues as to what Hulk's story might be. Copyright Marvel Studios Disney According to Mark Ruffalo, he and Kevin Feige agreed that Thor, Ragnarok would be the first part of a trilogy arc for the Hulk, with Infinity War and Avengers 4 forming the second and third parts. We think it's highly likely he'll be one of the main players, as far as that's possible with a cast this size, in the next two Avengers movies. Partly because he's a great character, but also because the chances of a Hulk solo movie are just about zero right now. It's because of a licensing issue, Universal still has the rights to a Hulk standalone. According to Ruffalo, I want to just make one thing perfectly clear today, a standalone Hulk movie will never happen, he said, via Variety, Universal has the rights, and for some reason, they don't know how to play well with Marvel.